Hi there folks, it's, uh, it's a Sunday, back at the workshop and just going to bleed the brakes up on the uh, on the camper I didn't get it done yesterday, I couldn't be asked to be fair uh, and then I'm just going to have a, a look around it because I've forgotten where I got to with it it's been that long, so we'll go inside and uh, get it jacked up As to be said, we're certainly get some uh, interesting things to work on. This actually belongs to uh, Danny, whose workshop it is. That's actually a, a Robin Reliant engine, and an, I believe it's an MX-5 back axle. I'm sure one Saturday morning we'll probably have a play with that. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Let's get in the workshop. As you can see, the weather's not as nice as yesterday. Global warming, my ass. How dare you! Yeah, I feel like I haven't been away. Yeah, we've all like not wanting to play today. Why not? Right, we'll get this jacked up, get the wheels off. Covers off. The lid covers come up. How can we get the socket in there? That's definitely not happening. There we go. Okay. Let's the wheels up and see what the brake uh, bleed nipples are like on the uh, on the cylinders. Bet they're rusty. So let's just get the spanner on this little bleed nipple. Mm. That feels quite tight, folks. Well, give it a squirt. Per penetrating fluid, it might just help it undo. I'll, uh, I'll put you in a position where you can see what I'm actually doing. Right, folks, just to uh, recap, that's the pipe that I replaced yesterday. Then this pipe comes along, goes through the uh, load sensing valve, along the flexi pipe there and we have a pipe going to each brake drum and it's a bit awkward to see folks that's the pipe coming in and above it is like a little nut with a, a tube part and that's the bleed nipple and that's where we'll get the air out of the braking system so I've given them a squirt I'm gonna get a slightly longer spanner and pray they don't snap if they do, it's a ball leg. 
Right, let's uh, try slightly longer spanner. Oh, there we go. So, that's the bleed nipples, they're both cracked open. So let's see if we can get some fluid to flow. Okay, folks. I'm going to use this device. Now, this actually works off the compressed air line, but creates a vacuum in this pipe, which I'll put on the uh, bleed nipple, and I want to pull the uh, fluid through because I know there's a lot of air in the pipe because of the length of the pipe. So I'm going to rig the compressor up and we'll see if we can get this fluid pulled through. This being the furthest point from the master cylinder is the first one to start at. Right. You're going to have to excuse the compressor, it will start and stop no doubt a million times. I'll run continue. Yeah. Yep. I feel the very slack fit, folks. Let's see if we can pull anything through. Now, there should be some fluid come through and then a load of air, and then hopefully uh, back to fluid. I also need to keep testing the, uh, checking the master cylinder for the fluid level. Just seems to be uh, air now, there's no fluid there. Oh, uh, it's coming. Well folks, I've uh, tried pulling the fluid through, but to no avail. It, uh, I don't want to play the game, so I'm going to go to the front calipers and uh, open those bleed nipples and just actually see if we get anything coming through those. I suspect the master cylinder may be um, fat. Well folks, I just cracked that very top bleed nipple off. This is actually a four piston caliper, which is Quite sexy for a crappy old van. And that one streamed fluid out straight away. That one was a bit more reluctant. So what I'm going to do is actually use the uh, the bleeding thing and just pull some fresh fluid through this side and see if it helps to uh, get it to go down the back. You can all but try. Well folks, I kind of had a gut feeling before I even did the brake pipe that the, uh, the the master cylinder here would be knackered, and yes, I was right. It uh, with it draining of fluid, it's knackered itself up. Come across it so many times. So today's a complete and utter fail. Uh, it looks like I've got a master cylinder to sort out, but not today.
I'm off home. Fair enough. Bit of a disappointment to do that, really, but I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it. Yeah. Bit of a crap video for you this time. Anyway, thanks for liking and subscribing and watching and all that jazz. I'm going to go home. See you soon.